one of the things that is claimed by the Seventh-day Adventist organization is that they are the remnant church and they have a, had a prophet among them in the name of Ellen G. White, which they call the Spirit of Prophecy. But I found something in the July the 26th, 1906 edition of Review and Herald on page 8, where Ellen White makes this following statement, and I quote, Some have stumbled over the fact that I said I did not claim to be a prophet, and they have asked, Why is this? I have no claims to myself, only that I am instructed that I am the Lord's messenger and that he called me in my youth to do his messenger, uh, to receive his words and to give a clear, uh, decided message to the name of the Lord Jesus. Early in my youth, I was asked several times, are you a prophet? I have, I have uh, ever responded, I am the Lord's messenger. I know that many have called me a prophet but I have made no claim to this title, end quote. Now, Seventh-day Adventist, this presents a problem. Ellen White didn't call herself a prophet, so she couldn't have been the prophet for the end-time remnant church. The title prophet has been bestowed on her by the Seventh-day Adventist people and not by God. God's prophets are called by God, not by people. So what you have is a prophet that man has called and not God has called. So you don't have a prophet and thus cannot be the end time remnant church. Ellen White never claimed to be a prophet. It was bestowed on her by people, not by God. Until next time, this is it. Ben Golly saying, God bless.